students welcome to lecture 3 of chapter current electricity in lecture 2 we have discussed about drift velocity relaxation time mobility and current density in this lecture we are going to discuss on expression for electric current and electrical conductivity ohm's law electrical resistance and its si unit electrical conductance now let us move to next slide expression for current in a conductor and derivation of j equal to sigma into e where j is current density sigma electrical conductivity e electric field okay first we will be deriving the expression for current and then we get j equal to sigma into e consider a conductor and this conductor is connected to a battery of voltage v and this voltage is potential difference across the ends of the conductor due to this potential difference an electric field is set up in the conductor and due to the presence of this electric field free electrons in the conductor experience a force and starts moving towards the positive end of the conductor with velocity vd and the motion of these electrons is responsible for the current flowing through the conductor let l be the length of the conductor a area of cross section e applied electric field small e charge of electron vd drift velocity of an electron n number of free electrons per unit volume the n represents number of electrons per unit volume total number of electrons in a conductor is equal to n into volume of the conductor where n is number of free electrons per unit volume and it is multiplied by volume of the conductor then we get total number of electrons in a conductor that is equal to n into a into l where a into l is volume of the conductor total charge q is equal to n into a into l into e k this quantity is representing total number of electrons and if this quantity is multiplied by charge on each electron we get total charge in the conductor if t is the time taken by each electron to cross the conductor then this time is given by t is equal to length divided by drift velocity that is equal to l divided by vd the time taken by each electron to cross the conductor that is distance traveled by each electron is equal to length of the conductor and they are moving with drift velocity therefore t is given by length divided by drift velocity that is equal to l divided by vd by the definition of current the current flowing through the conductor is given by i is equal to q divided by t that is equal to n into a into l into e divided by l by vd here we have l on both side both in numerator and denominator hence l gets cancelled further we get i equal to n into a into e into vd this is the expression for electric current in a conductor in terms of 
drift velocity that is i is equal to n into a into e into vd current density it is given by j equal to i divided by a putting the value of i in this equation we get j equal to n into a into e into vd divided by a again we have a on both sides both in numerator and denominator hence a gets cancelled then j is equal to n into e into vd since drift velocity is equal to small e into capital e divided by m into tau putting this value in the above equation we get j equal to n into e square into e divided by m into tau in vector form writing the above equation in vector form we get vector j is equal to n into e square into tau divided by m into vector e okay since number density is constant charge on electron is constant relaxation time is constant mass of electron is constant okay these constants are replaced by a new constant then the above equation becomes j equal to sigma into e okay this is the relation for current density and electric field where sigma equal to n into e square into tau divided by m is called electrical conductivity okay this is the expression for electrical conductivity Okay, now let us move to next slide. Ohm's law. A basic law regarding flow of current was discovered by George Simon Ohm in 1828. Okay, he studied the relation between flow of current and potential difference. By changing potential difference, he found how the current was changed. Consider a conductor. And this conductor is connected to a battery of voltage V and due to this voltage an electric field is produced in the conductor and due to this electric field electrons will experience a force and starts moving towards the positive end of the conductor. Due to the flow of these electrons electric current is produced in the conductor and he found that if V was increased there was increase in current by this he concluded that as voltage is increased current also increases the statement for this law is given by the potential difference between the ends of the conductor is directly proportional to the electric current flowing through the conductor provided the temperature and other physical conditions remain constant. Okay, this is the statement for Ohm's law. Okay, this law is valid only when temperature and other physical conditions remain constant. What are other physical conditions? Pressure and tension in the conductor. Okay, if these conditions are valid, then only this Ohm's law is obeyed or if these physical conditions remain constant then this law is valid. Okay, if I is the current flowing through the conductor V is potential difference between the ends of the conductor then by Ohm's law V is proportional to I. If we remove proportional sign, then we get V is equal to I into R, where R is 
proportional constant called electrical resistance r is constant of proportionality called electrical resistance okay this is the explanation for ohm's law okay next electrical resistance first let us try to understand what is resistance resistance means opposition resistance means opposition okay if you assume that if water is flowing in one direction if you throw a stone into the water that stone will resist the flow of water okay this is called resistance offered by the stone to the flow of water similarly in conductor there is opposition for the flow of current hence that opposition offered by the conductor is called electrical resistance it is the opposition offered by the conductor to the flow of current through it it is the opposition offered by the conductor to the flow of current through it that means the resistance arises due to the collision of free electrons with the fixed ions and other free electrons let me explain this if you consider a conductor if potential difference is applied across the conductor then the electron starts moving towards the positive end of the conductor when they are moving towards the positive end of the conductor they collide with fixed ions that means their motion is opposed if their motion is opposed even the flow of current is opposed hence this property of conductor opposing the flow of current is called electrical resistance by ohm's law v is equal to i into r rearranging or expressing this equation in terms of r we get r equal to v divided by i with the help of this expression we can define electrical resistance the electrical resistance of a conductor is defined as the ratio of potential difference across the ends of the conductor to the electric current flowing through it i repeat the electrical resistance of a conductor is defined as the ratio of potential difference across the ends of the conductor to the electric current flowing through it SI unit of electrical resistance is ohm dimensional formula is m raised to 1 l raised to minus 2 t raised to 3 a raised to 2 okay this is the dimensional formula for electrical current okay now let us define one ohm of resistance okay we know that resistance is expressed by r equal to v divided by i if v is 1 volt that is if potential difference across the conductor is 1 volt and current flowing through the conductor is 1 ampere then the resistance r is equal to 1 volt by 1 ampere that is equal to 1 ohm okay with the help of this we can define 1 ohm of resistance the resistance of a conductor is said to be 1 ohm if current of 1 ampere flows through it when the potential difference across the ends of the conductor is 1 volt. The resistance of a conductor is said to be 1 ohm if current of 1 ampere flows through it when the potential difference across the ends of the conductor is 1 volt. Okay, this is the definition for 1 ohm of resistance. Next, let us see the graphical relation between potential difference and current flowing through the conductor. From Ohm's law, V equal to I into R. This implies V is proportional to I. For a given conductor, R is constant. Hence, 
when you remove this r we get v is proportional to i now let us plot a graph v versus i voltage is taken along x axis current is along y axis as voltage increases even current also increases how it increases it increases linearly with straight line graph between v and i is straight line for a conductor okay this is the graphical relation bow between v and i okay next conductance it is the reciprocal of resistance conductance is the reciprocal of resistance okay it shows exactly opposite properties of resistance it is given by g equal to 1 divided by r si unit of conductance is per ohm or mo or simon all these are si unit of conductance Thank you.